In our previous step, we added holes to the spring plate to accommodate the test point pogo pins. Since the test point pogo pins will ultimately be mounted to the test point carrier board, we must also bring those same holes for the pogo pins all the way through the mount plate. Now that we have holes through the mount plate which locate the test point pogo pins, we have a basis for the same locations on the test point carrier board. That board will attach to the bottom side of the mount plate and physically hold the test point pogo pins. In our next step, we're going to add holes to the test point carrier board to accommodate the pogo pins.